Brand new information today raising new questions about possible contacts with UFOs. A top secret document filed by the FBI in 1949 tells how three different men each reported seeing a UFO breaking up in midair. The document reveals that they were miles apart at the time and each one of them say they saw the UFO explode over the mountains in Utah. Here now, Dr. Lynn Kitai, the executive producer of the Phoenix Lights Network to tell us more. Uh, doctor, what do you make of this? Actually, it's, it's interesting that, that this would go viral. Supposedly, it's been on the Internet since 19, or available to the public since 1977. And um, uh, I spoke with Dr. Bruce McAbee, who is a former Navy optical uh, physicist and a renowned UFO investigator who actually has done much research uh, on the FBI files. He has a book, UFOs Connection. And to quote him, that we have been visited by um, advanced technology uh, that's gracing our skies well, worldwide, not only, not only for decades, uh, as this would say, but also for, for centuries. Well, and, and Doctor, I mean, when you look at some of the material that's contained in this FBI file, I mean, they took it seriously. At the time, they sent this to the director of the FBI, J. Edgar Hoover, uh, and there were a lot of folks did. who thought there was something to this. Now, that's a legitimate agency. Is there more to this? Exactly, and it did give it did give it credibility. And um, uh, actually, sharing what Dr. Bruce McAbee has investigated himself uh, over the decades, and uh, at the time, to quote uh, the Air Force, uh, had stated that that nothing was flying in the air. But um, at, at this time, they did go to to. Uh, to Hoover, there was a project, Grudge and Sign and, and Snowbird, and uh, the only public study at the time was Project Blue Book, uh, which was closed in 1969 with the statement that uh, UFOs are not a threat to national security. Well, how did they know that unless they were studying it? Um, and as we see in the, in the uh, mass sighting that happened in Arizona in 1997 called the Phoenix Lights, there were thousands of people statewide for many hours that, that actually saw a mile to two mile wide craft traverse the entire state. Uh, and that still has uh, not been explained. Well, Doctor, it's certainly an interesting topic. Folks will want to dig into these documents. They can find them online. Thank you so much for your time today, Dr. Lynn Kitai.